What is up YouTube, XCX Solutions here and today I am bringing you another video and this is a tutorial on how to set up Shadowplay and use it. So what is Shadowplay? Shadowplay is a fast and free to use game recorder found inside the GeForce experience. It utilizes the onboard H.264 encoder that is built into all GeForce GTX 600 and 700 series graphics cards. So if this does look interesting and you are planning to use this make sure that you do have an Nvidia type graphics card and not an AMD type graphics card as this will not work. So in the description below I will leave a link to the website which is geforce.com and on the left hand side you will see geforce experience, the easiest way to update your drivers, optimize your games and share your victories. So this is an all in one control panel if you like that will allow you to update your drivers when there's a new drivers that are released, uh, to use shadow play which I'm going to be showing you soon in the video and to basically optimize your games settings and stuff like that so it's very very nice to have and most of you should have this if you are running an Nvidia graphics card. If you don't, then go ahead and download it. Once you've downloaded it, install it and restart your system. Once you've restarted your system, you'll be prompted with a icon in your system tray like so. Right click on it and open the Nvidia GeForce experience. Once open, you have five tabs, games, drivers, my rig, shield, and preferences. Now in the top right hand corner, you'll see a button that says shadow play. Now we will be going into this soon, but I'm just going to go into preferences first to show you the shadow play settings. Now shadow play uses an overlay. You don't have to use the overlay, but it's very, very nice and very handy to use. Um, you can also record your camera. So if you have a webcam or a built in camera in your maybe laptop or something, then you can use a on-screen overlay for your camera, but uh, I don't use Use this personally so uh, you can use this you can choose if you want it in the top left top right bottom right or bottom left small medium or large so you would click uh, you know one of these and as you can see it records at 60 fps up there in the top right hand corner small medium or large so that's pretty handy to have as well you scroll down we do have an option for allow desktop capture so you can capture your desktop like I'm recording now on this video um, I'm not using shadow play in this video I'm using a different software but you can if you'd like uh, you to record your screen with shadow play if that's something you want to do then go ahead and use it I'm sure it would be great I've never personally used this myself I use this for just mainly recording games if we come down we have microphone so you know you've got two options here always on or push to talk now push to talk you can activate and you can bind a different key depending on what you like but in my case I use push to talk I don't use always on because that can be annoying especially if you're recording a video and you have your microphone on in the background the keyboard shortcuts are pretty self-explanatory I leave them as default as they're you know they're pretty simple but again you can bind these to whatever you like and I will be going over some of these features in just a second last but not least we have the output location so this is where all of your videos will output to so I have mine on my secondary drive which is in videos and then shadow play and if you go ahead and click the dot icon in the right hand side you can then output a folder on a different drive even a USB stick if you like I have mine in secondary disk videos shadow play and as you can see I've recorded some stuff already Ready and it will actually create the folders of the game that you're playing for you which is very nice so it organizes it and it's very nice and organized so if you go ahead and click shadow play this probably be off for you so just hit the switch and it will turn green we could then press this to make sure that the output location is set to your desired location and then we have four main options here we have mode shadow time quality and audio so there is a few different options in mode you have shadow and manual shadow manual and then if you want to stream directly to Twitch you can also do that. I recommend leaving it on shadow and manual as shadow and manual basically do the same thing. I recommend leaving this on shadow and manual as I'll get into this in just a second. We have shadow time so this is basically the time that it will capture. So if you're playing a game of say Battlefield and you have shadow play open but you're not actually recording you get a triple kill or a really cool kill streak or something that really funny happens then you can press the alt 10 key which will save the last 20 minutes or even 5 minutes depending on what you have it set to um, and it will basically save that output the file to your desired location and you'll have that video there saved in the highest quality possible so that's very very cool so it basically records all the time and then soon as you hit alt f10 it will save that footage and it doesn't make a single difference on your graphics card there is no performance drops whatsoever i've experienced in my case it is very very fluid so i like to leave mine on 20 as 20 minutes is quite a long time and it will only be 7.5 gigabytes which isn't that much depending on your hard drive space. If we go over to the quality tab, you have low, medium, high and custom. I like to click custom 
and choose the in-game built resolution so this is basically um, you know the highest resolution in the game and it looks very very crisp frame rate 60 and I like to use bitrate as 50 as if you go any higher the file size does get quite large and then last but not least we have audio you have in-game in-game and microphone or audio off I like just to have in-game as again the microphone can be quite annoying so hit in game and that is pretty much it so again it's very simple it's very simplistic um, not hard to set up whatsoever so I'm now going to show you what it looks like inside of Battlefield 4 so you get a general idea of how to use it so as you can see we are in Battlefield 4 I am in a test range server so there is no interruptions and this does look very pretty by the way we're on max settings so if you go into options video we are on ultra so you should be able to see the status indicator in the top right hand corner hopefully the recording software will pick it up but there will be a tiny little icon showing you know like two double arrows and obviously if you have fps enabled it will show your current fps so right now we're averaging about 160 frames per second so that's very very good um, considering battlefield is quite gpu intensive i am using a gtx 980 if you're wondering i did upgrade a little while ago so yeah this is a great graphics card i do recommend it if we just run around you know do your stuff you're recording so again this is recording all the time so if you see that status indicator in the top right hand corner and it's not lit up green or anything like that then don't worry it just means that it's recording and it's there it is working so again there is no performance drops whatsoever it's very very fluid very smooth um, and I just I recommend this over any software if you have a capture card then I do recommend using a capture card if you do but this is very 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 handy if you want to record some quick gameplay there you go I've just ran around for a little bit if we go ahead and click alt f10 you'll see a little down arrow saying that it's saving that file so that is shadowing that's what you call shadowing which is automatically recording in the background so as soon as you hit alt f10 that will save the video clip so it will save the last 20 minutes or whatever you've set so 20 minutes that's what I have set if you have five minutes it will save the last five minutes but if you don't like that feature and you want to record manually then you can do so by pressing alt f9 by default and in the top right hand corner you'll see the little icon has now changed to green so this will indicate that it is recording manually so everything you do from this point in time will be manual and again there is not much performance drops whatsoever the audio is being recorded and my FPS is still very very high so once you have finished your manual recording you just hit all F9 again it will show a green down arrow to say that it's saved and that is that so now what I'm going to do is show you the outputted files so if we go ahead and find our location of where the videos are saved so in my case it's on my secondary disc shadow play battlefield 4 so it will create a battlefield 4 icon or whichever game you're using and I believe it's this one which is 1.5 gigs for the shadow so the automatic recording and this is 147 megabytes for the manual recording so let's go ahead and open this and there we have it I'm just gonna make this a little bit smaller so you can see it there we have a very sharp and crisp smooth 60 frames per second gameplay and again obviously it doesn't show the indicator on the outputted file um, it's very very fluid very smooth and it's, it's absolutely amazing I recommend this hundred percent and if we go ahead and open the manual recorded video clip make this a little bit smaller there you go we have 1080p at 60 FPS again so just to double check I'm going to right click properties details so it's recording at 1920 by 1080 at 60 frames per second. So that is pretty much it guys. I hope I've helped in a way. Feel free to ask me any questions in the comment section below or add me on Skype and I'll try and get back to you as soon as possible. Comment, rate, subscribe and do the good stuff and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.